jubilant Coach Corey Cole tonight. The Eagles take down number two ranked St. Edwards 84 to 80, snapping their 14 game win streak. And Coach, this is the biggest win we've had in the Division Two area. Biggest win since we uh, beat number one OBU in the NAIA days back in 2012. Um, this is a could be a program changer going forward. Absolutely, um, we've we've been close numerous times this year, and um, we've just kept fighting and trusting the process. And tonight it just clicked for us. But I love seeing the guys uh, battle through the adversity, um, not stop believing, not stop trusting, and, and making plays. And that's where this game is just fun. I mean, you go through the storm to come out the other side, and. Yeah, we can beat anyone on any given night, and also the same is true where we can lose anyone on any given night. And to be a team of the quality of St. Edwards, especially if it comes down to tiebreakers at the end of the season in the conference, I don't think there's too many other teams are going to beat them this year. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're such a well-coached team. They've got so many uh, movable pieces. They play the right way. Um, they've been dominant all year. They've played well on the road at home. I mean, they're just they're one of the best teams in the country for a reason. And to have our best game of the season, it was I was really just – Extremely proud of our guys stepping up and taking that challenge. When we were talking earlier, the two guys that made the biggest difference, the two inside guys, Will Leonard and Rod Smith. Will, 15 points, 21 rebounds for the third time this year, <laughs> and three blocks. Rod had a double-double with 17 points and 12 rebounds. Those two guys had 33 rebounds. St. Edwards had 35 as a team. Uh, uh, and that, that tells you a lot right it? there. I, I love those two guys. I mean, they're, they're the heartbeat of this team. Our, our, our seniors that came out and – really carried a, a huge load for us that first half was Rod and just getting in there and then making hustle plays and offensive board putbacks and it became contagious at halftime and, and Will kind of took the, the mail that second half and just played tough interior defense but also provided that offensive spark that he's capable of doing and uh, at the end you know Will stepped up and hit two clutch free throws um, none bigger in his career and uh, we needed both and it was good to see him in that moment be the player that he truly is. And he just got rebound after rebound after rebound. When we need, I mean, to get his stops. Yeah, every every stop we needed that rebound, and, and Will had his hands on so many balls that other guys can't even get to, and uh, we were able to come back in the game because we were getting one and done when they missed. You know, then we're down 16 in the second half. Aubrey Johnson starts heating up from outside, and that was a difference maker as well. I think I think he went five or six from behind the arc, and without those points, we don't win. Uh, he's a microwave. I mean, when he hits one, it, it goes in bunches. And uh, we were encouraging him to shoot because he hadn't shot the ball very many times to even know if he was hot or not. Um, so Coach Talley did a good job of coaching him up and telling him just to hey, take a few and see if, if you've got it tonight. And he trusted the, the process. And once he gets rolling, I mean, it's we're hard to guard. Him and him and Jordan, it's, it, it's who you gonna, you got to pick your poison. And it was good to see Aubrey second half be clutch. I was going to say, and, and the, all, all those threes, again, came at just huge times helping us cut that gap, cut that gap, cut that gap. Absolutely, and another thing about Aubrey is we've challenged him. You know, he he had uh, early bouts of the flu, and missed uh, three days of practice this week. So uh, he just got back to us yesterday, and we really challenged him and put a uh, a quick game plan together for him. And uh, we told him, hey, work on your defense. Don't get back cut tonight. And uh, man, God is good. No back cuts. He really was locked in on both ends, and that was his best game. I mean, he scored a lot of points, but he also played some big time defense. Well, as I. I want to say taking down ranked teams is getting to be a bit of a habit because we took down, I think, four of them last year. Mm -hmm. um, took down another one this year. Does this kind of show you what this team is capable of? Absolutely, Murray. Um, I mean, I think we've got one of the top teams in the country. Our record doesn't reflect that because we missed out on some opportunities that didn't go our way and we, we control our own fate. But on any, any given night when our guys come locked in and, and belief and trusting, um, this just shows that we can play with anyone. So, so uh Extremely proud of my guys. Kind of lost for words, just uh, so worn out with amazement of um, the guys have battled. We've been kind of counted out because we just haven't finished like we wanted to. But when it all mattered tonight, there was no doubt. The guys just played the most incredible second half against a really good team at home, and it wasn't easy. Well, it's on the road Saturday up to Roger State, which is always a tough place to play. So can't enjoy it for too long, I guess. But <laughs> But uh, you can enjoy it tonight. Absolutely. You know, we, we'll get ready for Roger State on Friday, just like we always do. And that's going to present a, uh, a numerous challenges for us as well. Um, but the guys will be ready. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, Coach, and good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Murray.